in my work, uh, energy is a really big part of it. Action, energy and emotion are the three driving factors in my work. I was also inspired for a very long time by uh, artists who worked in the early avant-garde and those kind of um, experiments that they made. I used to look back at the futurists and they actually weren't sure if they were making art or not. They were just experimenting and they were trying and they were playing and they were working with materials. I use these kind of marine carpets uh, because they're architectural and they have their own, they create shape very easily. Looking at this it already looks like a cape or it could be a shelter or it could be a cone or it looks like something like a little hermit snail thing. And so for me, the idea of like covering the body and then that this could be any kind of costume or even but it's also very sculptural so it's part costume part sculpture part whatever you want to call it so I make figurative sculptures that are of the body this is all covering the body moving the body and it's all a way of communicating so I communicate through the body Wolverine is a sculpture that I made in 2021. It's the first time I'd made a sculpture made entirely from closed cell foam. Which is then covered in resin and kind of almost like a, a light fiberglassing. And then she's spray painted. Um, and I carve her with a chainsaw and um, knives and hand saws and so she's hacked away. As if she's come out of stone. She is big, because that's where I wanted her to be. <laughs> and so she was a giant sized female superhero for me. I was just trying to create my own version. The title, I suppose in a way, came from this very ancient goddess protector, Hag. The Sheelina gigs were pagan female protectors, goddesses, fertility symbols that adorned archways and they were above churches and in stone fences in Ireland and were a Celtic historical symbol. It was all about the woman's vulva and the woman's hole and it was about that energy of the women, the nagig hole is what I call it. <laughs> Actually the church has got rid of them. Some of them have been removed but uh, there has been a revival of Sheila Nagig and so my Sheila is an Aussie Sheila. She's also a 21st uh, century version of it for me in that she looks different. She stands upright whereas the original Sheilas used to be, they were hags that kind of were crouched. So mine is upright and she's very powerful and she's strong and so she's also part superhero, part almost like a character. A child's animation character that's been brought to life. <laughs>